So we're doing the handicapping segment, and who's coming up in the periphery of my vision? Lou Raffetto, new president of the TOC. Is this your first day at Del Mar? Did you come out on the opening days, or, or, or did you come out opening day? Of course I was here opening day. What okay. you, if, how can you be out here and not come out opening day? Are you crazy? Well, figured, well you're crazy. I so. figured you're either in the hat contest or you're not, Lou. I was, uh, I was judging uh, that day, but it, it wasn't the hats. Uh, I'll tell you that much. It was, uh, there were a lot of beautiful hats. It was fantastic, it wasn't was. it? Absolutely, I mean, absolutely. We, don't ha we do not have this at Pimlico. We have, on Preakness Day, we have the guys running over the toilets. I mean, they've cut, you know, they've tried to tone that down a little bit. A little but, bit. but basically, it's pigs in slop. We love them, don't get me wrong. Maybe a crab hat here and then, but this is a whole new uh, environment here. Uh, this is it's beautiful. I mean, I've been here before, uh, obviously not in this capacity. Uh, got out here Monday and, uh, you know, in light of the weather back home, uh, I, I, I feel bad when I say that for the week, the low temperature is 66 and the high is 76. I have not been rubbing that in, by the way, during these videos. I've been really playing that That's down because the people smart. are baking out there cookies on top of their car. Oh, but uh, it, it's been. And my wife's still back home and now she hates me. But that's, you know, I, hopefully I can make it up to her when she gets here. Well, I, I, what, tell us what you've done since you've been here. Have you done work? Are you still gathering information and uh, exploring the environment? Uh, have you, uh, I've overheard that you've met with some representatives. Hannah, did that uh, did that take place? How did that go? It it, uh, it did. Uh, this past Thursday, the second day of the meet, uh, we had a breakfast meeting before the CHRB meeting, uh, and it was very it was excellent. We had a very cordial meeting. Uh, Greg Abioli was there. Uh, representatives of Golden Gate, Robert Hartman, Alan Gutterman. Uh, George Haynes and it was just an exchange of ideas and it was again I I think we all uh, enjoyed the meeting uh, and came away with the understanding that we would look at the situation out here and see what we could do to make it better uh, for for the industry and, and better for the players. See, I, I, I feel when we, when we look at the Pollock report and we see all the comments come through so, sometimes people get very passionate and I don't blame them. I mean they're betting their hard-earned money and the takeout is a, a really important issue but writing on a bulletin board on the Pollock report is a way to express yourself but when you get in in front of you know we actually meet you and find out who you are then they, they people begin to modulate and go well the, you know we got to talk to this guy well you know, I, you it's know different in person it, the point I'm making. I think it is I think it was again it was good for me to meet them face to face uh, they certainly they've heard about me I've heard about them and and but I think when you sit down and and break bread I think it, it's good and again just being open-minded and that's what we're trying to be and again it was a very very good meeting and hopefully we can we can build on it from here uh, CHRB me uh, meeting versus Maryland Racing Commission meetings. How are those things differ? <laughs> <coughs> um, there are similarities way. and there are differences. And I think, uh, listen, seriously, the the, uh, the director, the commissioners here don't know me that well yet. So uh, it'll take them a while possibly. But a commission's a commission. So you, you have to respect them and deal with them. So well, I'm going to miss you out on the East Coast. This is not, I have no one punching me harder than Lou at all the meetings. Can you pan down and look at the suit, by the way, Brad? This is absolutely spectacular. Wait, the spectacular. best part is the Delmore tie. Look at That's that. It. The only tie I brought, by the way, is a Naira tie, and I haven't taken it out yet. I think we'll yeah, get in any it. trouble well, here. Know, out here, you don't wear ties. I, I really stand out in the crowd. I mean, they, I go places with a tie on, so, and then if you go out to dinner, especially with uh, Mike Pegram or something, you definitely are not going to be wearing a tie. I got to go buy a Tommy Bahama shirt. So well, it's great seeing you, Lou, and uh, and uh, we're going to check back on you here every uh, couple of years, and we're going to probably just see a beach bum um, riding the big bonsai pipeline in a few years. Yeah, well, <laughs> hope I'm around. That's all I can say. You will be. Okay. Right. Thanks a lot.